wait for a written invitation. If we stay here, we'll be allowed to run our head. <laughs> My name is Claire. I just returned from a year living abroad in Australia with a newfound appreciation for the Emerald Isle. I want to do everything cool there is to do in Ireland and I'm giving myself two years to do it. This is my Irish bucket list. The tickets are 25 euros, you can book them online or book them in there on the day. It's half 10 in the morning, it's very early. Password is Limerick. You may need, need it later on. The rebels took over Stevens Green on Monday, shooting Constable Michael Leggiff. They commandeer passing vehicles to barricade the entrances. Independent state, and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom. Keep your heads down, they're watching us. What are you all doing here? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she run to? Here, move. Let me in there. Where did she go? Where is she? Jesus! Here! You! Stay there! Come back! Stay there! Here, you! Who was that? Who was she? I don't know. Who was she? Who? I don't recognize this place at all, you know? It's my city. It's yours, but it's not. One in the morning, Dublin Castle summoned. We just finished there. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So they gave us copies of the proclamation and the actors were so good and it was so immersive and I really felt like I was there and may or may not have sort of cried <laughs> at the end. I did, well, you did cry a lot. <laughs> it's really hard not to. It was like, it was just, oh I'm getting teary out again. It was just like, uh, they had all these stories of like, I was surprised at how much the girls the women of 1916 were involved. I know that there's an exhibition about how much they were involved, but it was like, they really were key parts of the whole machine. A meeting called Resurgence for the fourth time across the city. My moat, full of messages. Um, and then they had all the stories of like, the love letters and the, the final letters and stuff. I'm kind of stuck. I don't know how to say, uh, don't worry about me without her going, off and worrying about me. You know the way as soon as you say don't worry about me, that's exactly what they go and do. Yeah? So, look, I'll tell you what I have right and then you can help me, yeah? Uh, Private Andrew F. Barry, 10th Battalion, ODF Royal Barracks, Dublin, yeah? Dear Elsie or darling Elsie? Darling. That's what I have. <laughs> Although we are not together, my heart is with you always. Forever yours, Andrew. Oh. 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 Ari, you're making yeah, and two kisses, two kisses. Okay, stop it. Look, you're making me blush now. Aren't you? And then the bit at the end where they called out their names as they were being executed. Oh my God, it was yeah, it was a brilliant tour. That was the best tour I think I've ever been on. They really told the stories of both sides of the rising, which is something that you don't think about. At least I never thought about it. So they told the stories of the rebels and then they also told the stories of like the, the Irishmen who were supposed to be deported to France and were last minute then called to defend as part of the British army and, and then they were like having to shoot their friends and brothers and stuff and it's just a side of it I never even thought about before. So that was really good.